first I'm gonna go into create a new project using the YouTube preset next I'm gonna be going to add a material material is not anime clip or an opening here I'm gonna be choose a Makima clip even though I fucking hate her when my friends spoil about her bro like what the fuck but anyways I'm gonna be import Makima clip into the timeline and we're gonna be click on the clip we're gonna choose the cutout effect and here we have two methods to do. The first one is click on the main button so that the AI is gonna be able to detect the main object or we're gonna click on the press to do it manually. Both of them are pretty good method and work pretty perfect so you just need to keep going with that. And also when you've done the first track you're gonna click on the legs button under the tracking tab to make it keep going and if you see any problem you can use the press or the rubber tool to keep it looking perfect and once you've done that you do sure that your max looking good you can click on the forward button to make the AI automatically do the rest of the clip For the rest of the clip, I'm just gonna be going to add some of the effect that make it looking more interesting for a rotoscope tutorial. It's not necessary though, so you can, you can skip this part. And yeah, you can, you can download the Blur app right now by the link right out in the description. I want to make this tutorial as short as possible because you know, imagine the title is how to rotoscope in 30 seconds and the whole fucking tutorial is like 10 minutes. This is gonna be a very, very nice thing, a scam, you know. So, I was basically gonna speed up this part, and I will see the guy in tomorrow video. I will be back to grinding in 2023, so don't worry. See ya, everyone, and bye bye.